the White Lion Dirona, or Frosted Nudibranch. The Frosted Nudibranch belongs to the phylum Mollusca, which means that it's not actually a cold, sugary drink, as the name would imply. Big mistake. I've been there. Belonging to the phylum Mollusca means that the Frosted Nudibranch is a true coelomate, along with being bilaterally symmetrical and having a complete nervous system. It's also very soft. The frosted nudibranch fits into the class gastropoda, meaning that it has a ventral foot that secretes a sticky mucus. You don't want to be behind him in line, it's gross. Nudibranchs are a very interesting order. What makes them so interesting is their ability to incorporate the cells of creatures that they have eaten. In many species, nudibranchs will eat snodaria and gain their nematocysts. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. <laughs> it's so cool every time. In others, nudibranchs can even eat plant matter and gain their photosynthetic cells. It's almost like having a garden, but on your back, and made out of your flesh. Flesh garden. The nudibranch will then incorporate these cells inside the serrata that line the top of their back. Frosted nudibranchs do no such thing. Their serrata just fall off. Like a loser's. And now it will crawl away, like the loser it is. The frosted nudibranch belongs to the suborder Arminaceae, which basically just means that the anus is a little further back. The frosted nudibranch can grow up to 18 centimeters long. It's translucent, with the colors varying between grayish white, light purple, sometimes even orange. The frosted nudibranch will always have bold white lines on the edges of the serrata, as well as around the margin of its frontal veil. The frosted nudibranch thinks this gives it some individuality. It thinks that it's so cool. The frosted nudibranch feeds on hydroids, tunicates, brazones, and small snails. Seeing as the small snail is a very close relative to the frosted nudibranch, some would call this cannibalism. He calls it French. When the frosted nudibranch feels that it has a steady enough income to start a family, then it will just go and find any other frosted nudibranch due to the fact that they are all hermaphroditic. The frosted nudibranch lays 350,000 eggs in a ribbon. It's like knitting with babies. Once the nudibranch is born, it starts out as a tiny little plankton. It will have to develop and create a family within six months to a year, because after that it will be dead. Frosty nudibranchs can reside in Ketchma Bay, Alaska to San Diego, Japan, or East Russia. Any rocky region from a depth that's intertidal to 37 meters, they can be found. Or they will find you. And eat you. And incorporate yourselves into their own. And take over the world.